Are you just getting into wine but don't know what wine to start with? Well, not to worry. We're here to help. Well, today we're going to show you our favorite white wines for beginners and where to start. Hi, I'm Olivia. And I'm Ken. And we're Wine Therapy. So in today's video, we're going to go over our favorite white wines for beginners and the strategy we came up with to figure out which white wine you're going to enjoy the best. The reason we decided to cover this topic is we got a comment on one of our previous videos asking about what the best wine is to start out with for beginners. So let's get started. First, it's important for you to know that drinking wine is an acquired taste and that you need to develop your palate first. But what's a palate? What does that even mean? I've heard it all over the place. So basically, a person's palate is their appreciation for a taste and a flavor. So you have to get used to the taste of wine first in order to enjoy it. So for example, if you're a beer drinker too, you probably started off with drinking a light beer rather than going straight to the IPAs. Wine has the same characteristics where you probably want to start off with a lighter wine and then move up towards a bold wine. First, let's start with Pinot Grigio. So Pinot Grigio is a good go-to wine to start with. And it can help you and your palate decide if you want to go on the drier side of things or the sweeter side. Pinot Grigio is a zesty white wine that's usually dry and acidic with hints of pear, lemon, lime, and honeysuckle or even floral notes. Now this is just typically. That doesn't mean every single Pinot Grigio tastes exactly like this, but these are the general characteristics of it. Now a great Pinot Grigio that you can start out with is a Senza de Vida Pinot Grigio 2018. This wine is a medium bold, slightly dry, and medium acidity with hints of tree fruit notes such as pear and apple and green apple, citrus notes, and tropical notes. And this is a really easy wine to find too if you have an Aldi nearby. It comes in at around $10 and you get one and a half liters for it. Don't let the big size scare you off, it's a really good wine. Now here's where our system comes into play. You want to start out with the Pinot Grigio. Why? Because that's a good middle of the road type of wine. Based off of that, you can see whether you would prefer a sweeter wine or a more complex dry wine. That's where we're going to start to split off into one category or the other on here. So if you try the Pinot Grigio and you think, eh, it's too dry or maybe this just isn't my taste, try a Riesling or a Moscato instead. Both of these wines are a little bit sweeter in taste, so they're a little bit easier for the new wino to get accustomed to. Riesling typically has a higher acidity and floral notes and ranges from dry to sweet. So for example, one of the great Rieslings that we found for beginners is Fest Parker, Santa Barbara County, 2018. This wine is slightly bold, slightly dry, and slightly acidic. And it has hints of peach and apricot, honey and minerals, and citrus and lemon. And just so you know, you don't have to go with the exact wines that we recommend here. We're just giving our recommendations on good wines for beginners. So if you want something even sweeter than the Riesling, go for a Moscato. Moscato has a high residual sugar and low acidity, which gives it that signature taste. It usually has floral notes and fruit notes of peach, apricot, and orange. So our recommendation is Centuri Moscato di Pavia 2019. This wine is on the bolder and sweeter side with a medium acidity, and it has hints of peach, apricot, honey, ginger, grapefruit, and orange. And if you're not quite sure the way that we're describing our wines, check up here. We're going to link to our previous video where we talk about the most common wine terms. So now let's go on the other side of the spectrum. If you did try the Pinot Grigio and you liked it, then it's time to get into some more advanced wines. Our recommendation on what to try next would be Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc is usually a light, elegant, and refreshing wine with a high acidity and it typically gets comments of smelling like fresh cut grass. So our recommendation for Sauvignon Blanc is Kia Ora 2019 from New Zealand. This is a lighter wine that's very dry and very acidic. It has hints of grapefruit, citrus, passion fruit, tropical fruit, and green apple and peach. And then we have Chardonnay. 
Chardonnay is typically considered one of the most popular white wines. Chardonnay is a very bold wine and typically has flavors of butter and oak within it. So our recommendation for a beginner Chardonnay is bread and butter Chardonnay from the Napa Valley. This wine is a very bold wine that's slightly dry and slightly soft with hints of butter, oak, cream, banana, toast, and almond. So if you try the Chardonnay and you try the Sauvignon Blanc and you're looking for something a little bit more, the next part to move on to is the more advanced wine section. The reason we consider these more advanced is they're not quite as easy to find as a Sauvignon Blanc and a Chardonnay. So they might be a little bit tougher. We found both of these wines at Total Wine, so feel free to go there and they'll be easy to find. But wait, before we move on, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. So for the first more advanced wine, we recommend Valserrano Rioja Blanco from the Rioja region of Spain. This wine is made of Vieira grapes, is very bold, very dry, and slightly acidic, with hints of oak, vanilla, pear, apple, citrus, and lemon. And then we have Val de Sosego Albarino. This wine is on the lighter side, but it's very dry and slightly acidic, and it has hints of citrus, grapefruit, peach, apple, minerals, and stone. And again, although both of these wines can be a little bit tougher to find, they're absolutely great wines for beginners. And there you have it, white wine for beginners. And again, don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. And stay tuned for our red wine for beginners video coming in the future. We'll see you in our next video. Cheers. Cheers.